Discovering Thin Clients The TenZig management software makes it easy to centrally manage your TenZig thin client devices. There are many features to the software, including managing groups, updating device firmware, shadowing thin clients, and more. In this demonstration, I will walk you through automatic and manual device discovery. Here we have TenZig Manager installed on Windows XP Service Pack 3. Normally, once the machine is up and running, you will see a TenZig logo in the taskbar, which will turn blue, indicating the background service is running. In this example, I disabled it so that I can show you an alternative way to run the service from the Start menu. This will start the service control, and we will see the logo in the taskbar very shortly. When it goes to blue as shown below, it indicates the service is running. Now let's take a look at Settings. Simply click on Settings, and on the Network tab you'll see a drop-down box here. This lists all of the network cards you have installed on the machine. It's important to select the one that's on the network where your thin clients are. I will go ahead and select this one. It's worth just reading the note here about your firewall. The two services, mgrservice.exe and tzbootserver.exe, will require access to your network, so make sure they are added to your firewall. Also on this tab is a Discovery tab. Most people choose to leave the default settings. If you have Linux devices, you may want to select TCP Discovery, and on WANs, you may want to increase this interval, but otherwise leave it as default. As mentioned, most people choose to go with the default settings. You can start the Manager console either from the shortcut on the desktop or from the Start menu. The console runs as an MMC snap-in and connects to the background service which runs there. The settings for the console are here, and you can see it has the port 1132 which we saw before. If you don't select any ranges, it will scan and find the devices on your local network. You may want to add some IP ranges for multicast purposes. For this demonstration, I will add a couple of ranges. This will likely give you many devices. As you can see, there's a manual discovery tab here, which will run the discovery service. And this one here will refresh the management console itself to rewrite the information. Now I'll show you how to create groups. So if you want to create a subgroup, right-click on Thin Clients, Add Subgroup, give it a name. For the purpose of this example, let's assume you have two offices, one in the USA, one in the UK, and these have different IP ranges. We can assign an IP range to each of these. And there we see the USA clients are in the USA list. If we add the UK in there, you'll see we have two lists now. One for the discovered thin clients in USA, and one for the UK. So that's it for discovery. The thin clients are discovered automatically. As you can see, there are different statuses listed. A green dot means the device is on. And once it's on and the service is running on the particular device, you'll see other information as well. The last time the device was reported is listed on the end. The red ones are the thin clients that have been discovered previously on the network, so the information is already in the manager, but they are not currently on. If you have any questions about the manager, please reach out to us at info at tenzig.com or call 866-865-5250. Visit us online to view other manager videos like this, www.tenzig.com.